My name is Andrea Nicolai, and I'm director of libraries here in Arlington. The library was dedicated in November of 1892, and uh, the funds for the building came from Maria Robbins, who gave the town of Arlington $150,000 um, in memorial um, of her husband, Eli Robbins. So uh, interesting facts that occurred during the construction of the library. Um, I have to read a quote from the trustees from the dedication of the library, which is, is a fun quote. They said, the building is of a style which will command the admiration of future ages as it does that of all good judges today. Uh, the building was built in the Italian Renaissance style. There are a number of sculptures in the library from Cyrus Dallin and the collection that he created during his life. When the library um, was built, the architects modeled the entranceway after the Cancellaria Palace in Rome. Um, and there are a lot of international and national um, elements within the library. The um, marble behind me was sourced in the Pyrenees Mountains. Um, the mosaic floors were made of um, Knoxville marble. Um, the walls are Iowa marble. Inside the library, we offer strong Wi-Fi for our users. Uh, we also have 36 laptops that are available that can be checked out with a library card and used almost anywhere in the library. Um, we also moved to an RFID circulation system, which has made self-checkout easier than ever. Um, and as far as just digital services, um, we have an app. Uh, the Minuteman Library Network released an app last year and you can download it for free, of course, and renew your materials. You can place holds, place um, a reservation on a museum pass. Um, we also provide Arlington residents with a vast array of downloadable materials, um, audio, video, audio book. How many books are taken out daily? It's about 1,500 books a day. Popular materials for adults include um, speed reads. So we have a speed read collection of fiction and nonfiction that go out for two weeks at a time, and those are the hot titles. So that collection is always very popular. Um, also among adults, travel guides are popular, cookbooks, um, definitely biographies. Our biography section is always, always out. <laughs> well, uh, our manga collection sees a ton of action and our, our fiction collection also is extremely popular. In fact, we have the third highest circulation of teen fiction in Miniman. Popular materials for children include picture books, uh, easy readers, graphic novels, and um, series fiction, series fiction by far. What's next for the library? Well, this year we're embarking on a space planning study called Reimagining Our Libraries. We're going to be looking for public input in that planning process, so I'm really excited to get going with that. Um, you'll be hearing more about that in the year ahead. Um, key focus areas of that Reimagining Our Libraries project will be the children's room, um, updating the user experience, um, our service points, looking at our service points and how we can improve, um, as well as collection arrangement within the Robbins Library. And as far as the Fox Library goes, we'll be looking at improving access. Um, we'll be looking at um, rearranging some collections potentially, um, maybe, maybe even moving some walls. <laughs> we're not sure exactly what will come of it, but I'm very excited for the, um, the improvements that we're going to make as a result of this space planning study. Hi, I'm Emily. I am the branch librarian here at the Fox Library in East Arlington. Well, the branch is certainly bustling very often. Um, we sell out most of our sing-alongs every Thursday morning, and we generally have at least 140 people in one sing-along on Thursday mornings, so it's always a really bustling place here. We have at least 350 materials circulated per day at this branch in particular. One of our most popular items for adults here at the branch are very classic. The go-tos are our books um, and certainly our DVD collection. Most popular children's material? Picture books. Without a doubt, customers walk out with stacks this tall daily. Absolutely. I personally just adore the Fox Branch Library. It's just got such an amazing community. Um, of course, a lot of local families, but people from all walks of life. And it's just fun to be part of this community on a daily basis.